Do you want to go from this to this? Let me show you how. To create your email signature, begin by opening Adobe Creative Cloud Express. Then in the top left hand corner, click the purple circle with the white plus. Under Create New, click Custom Size Graphic. Under the Custom tab, change the width to 400 and the height to 120. Then press Next. I'm going to go for a watercolor theme for my email signature. And to begin, I'm going to click Design Assets in the left hand side. I am then going to search for watercolor. I see many different design assets and I am going to pick one that is a little further down, this one right here. I like it that it has different colors. I'm going to enlarge the design asset by clicking and dragging on the white circles. And then I'm going to change the opacity down to 40 so that I can read my text. I'm then going to add text on top of the watercolor by clicking text, add your text. I'm going to drag my text over, stretch the text out, and change this to my name. So I double click to edit, and I change the text to my name. I don't like this orange color, so I am going to change it and I'm going to change it to a purple color. And I, I like this purple color, so I'm gonna keep this one. I like this font size, and so I am going to actually select my text and then press duplicate. I'm going to drag the text down, and I'm then going to highlight my name and change it to my email address. I do now see that it is a little bit large, and so I am going to drag it where I want it, but then I'm going to change the text down to 14. Now that the text has shrunk, um, I do like this size for the information below. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this text again to add my email. I mean, sorry, I already have my email, my phone number. And you can add your extension as well. The last thing I'm going to add is a, another text box. Oops, and I just duplicated the design asset. And so I do want to delete this. And I'm gonna make sure I highlight a text box, duplicate the text box. And I'm going to add my Twitter. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to add some shapes, or this used to be called icons, to represent my email, phone number, and Twitter. So I'm first going to search for email, and I like this email icon, so I'm going to select it, but I don't like the color. I'm going to change it to this same purple that is the current palette, and I'm gonna shrink it down. I can press the X here so I have a view of the full screen. I'm going to click and drag this to where I want it to go. Next shape I'm going to pick is a phone for my phone number. And I'm going to pick this hollow phone. I'm gonna select the icon again, come over here to the color under edit shape and change that color to purple so that it matches. I'm gonna drag this over. If you notice these light blue lines that helps you line up. And I'm gonna search for Twitter just to see if anything comes up. So a few little birds come up. I'm going to go ahead and try searching for bird and see what comes up as well. So this bird looks a little bit like the Twitter bird. So I'm going to add this bird here, but I do want to change the color once again to this purple. And I'm going to drag down the size and click and ooh, if I can select it, I am going to click and drag it over so that it lines up. 
Now that I have all my information, I did leave some white space to add my photo, so I'm going to click Photo, and I'm going to upload my photo. Um, I do have my photo here, and um, I also have my school photo. I think I'm going to go with my school photo. But one thing about this photo is that I don't like that it is a square, so I'm going to select the photo, and I'm going to come over here to the right-hand side and click Crop and Shape. And when I do, I can change the, if I want to delete, I can crop a little bit, but I'm going to come down to shapes and I'm going to select this oval. And then I'm going to select off. And now I have this oval shape next to my signature. Now that I have created my email signature, I am going to press download as a PNG start download and I am going to do a transparent download for my email signature. That's how you create an email signature using Adobe Creative Cloud Express.